Hello everybody, Frankie was here, here. We're gonna go ahead and continue back into the chapel where we left off last time. Cleansing Chapel. Now, this is an area um, when me and Fushi went and played through, we actually ended up going the opposite direction through the swamp poison-like area and went to the uh, Watchers of Pharaon, I believe they're called. You don't have to go that way first. That area is like a 35-ish zone. But we're level 35, actually. Wow. According to the Wikipedia, on what level they recommend to be at in each zone, I think we're ahead of the normal level they recommend, so... <laughs> that could be due to the fact that we haven't died, maybe, and actually lost our souls. That we're using our boss souls, or... Maybe it's due to the fact we have a ring that gives us 10% more souls, but... Anyway, we are actually ahead of the level we need to be. Yeah, those guys right there. Again, we take a torch and pick it back up. The ones with, like, the weird leg legs walking on their uh, lower side. They put the maggot stuff on you. Thankfully, these enemies do not have a follow-up after they stagger you. Don't like that fire attack. So thankful they have no follow-up. I can just imagine how much damage a uh, repost would do if we uh, happen to be able to get hit by one from them. It's this way. Rest a coin. I don't believe we'll be using that at all. I can't think of any reason we'd need one. Red bug pellet. There's gonna be an archer guy up there being a butt. I took that high amount of damage as a mistake. Right now, yeah, there's a suicide guy again. Right now, we're hit by a Lloyd's Talisman, I believe. If it still has the same name as it does in previous games. Let's hit this guy so he doesn't get a backstab sneak attack on us. While we're affected by this, we cannot drink Estus. So be careful. Yeah, just hit those guys once. Really not a problem. This item, if you walk towards it. I love the combat in Dark Souls 3. It is so fluid. Oh, Lord. Calculated. <laughs> anyway, if you go to Good Red and pick this item up, enemies will come from over there. Okay, somehow that logic. They'll try to jump up and sneak attack you. Two archers here. There's going to be a third one, I believe. Yes. And there's a spear guy down here. There we go. Flung him off the cliff. Let's, um... I thought it was going to be blocking. Wait for the failed hit. And let's use Replenishment to heal up. Because we can't really use Replenishment while we're mid-combat. Or actually in mid-combat. So we'll go ahead and just use it right there. Let me make sure we are recording. Okay. It just feels a lot more casual-like than, uh... Than when I previously played. So I had to make sure that I had recorded it. There you go. Both those guys try to little jump on you and sneak attack you. And there is one of those creepy looking enemies here. Oh, okay. There we go. I guess I'm the first one who's ever been hit by one of those enemies. He's going to be over there trying to cast dark magic on us. Wait, is she just gonna fall off the ledge? Oh, that's right, we can't drink. But we can heal with miracles right now. Yeah, I was gonna wait for that to run out. Heal up now. Let's just skip her. We have no reason to even kill her. 
What? Oh, oh, okay, she fell, she fell off the ledge. Good. Good, you know. I mean, I, I, I intended that to happen. And now we have these little jerks. They're all axe. That's pretty cool of an item. This weapon art is useful for when you're uh, in the swamp area and you want to go ahead faster. I wonder what could happen in here. There we go. If you throw a firebomb, cool little fact, throw a firebomb at him, he'll bug up and he'll actually get stuck in the ceiling. It's happened to me all like four times I've helped someone throughout the zone. I've thrown a firebomb there and it always happens. And I'm pretty sure there's no item up here. Yeah, it just... This is where the enemies were at before, and they jumped down at us. They don't. Trying to throw firebombs at us. That's a party foul, man. Okay, come after us aggressively, please. There we go. There we go. Nice and steady. Now take care of this one. I guess she has poise. There we go. I love the uh, power attack. Just one handing this weapon. It's so good. The weapon tracking. So much about Dark Souls 3 is good. Well, wow, we actually have a lot of FP. 109. Oh, we can cast for punishment like three times. So these guys are both going to try to kill themselves onto you. Just hit them once or twice. And it will fix that problem. And now we can open up this door, which will allow us to go into the actual chapel that we've been running around this whole time. Uh, item over here, along with an enemy over here, right? Okay, wh where was he even at? Okay, just run away from these guys to counter them. Because they'll suicide themselves even if they're not within distance, because they've already lit themselves on fire. I just smacked this guy a few times, and he's dead. Was that two Estus randomly? Or is that just one? I seriously have no idea what causes the Estus, or what determines how many you get. If you have firebombs and you don't want to spend forever killing these guys and you want to kill them, throw firebombs. They're like the slimes back in Dark Souls 1. They take a ton of damage from fire. I believe you can get them down to like 10% health or something like that just with uh, one little firebomb. And then finish them off with a swing. These are deacons. They're really weak when we get a ring, which we're going to get very soon. They're pretty good just to get a free backstab off of. So we're going to have the shortcut now at the beginning of the chapel. Along with another shortcut. I, will, I won't be... Uh, actually, no. The other shortcut's on the next, uh, the next one. I'm not going to be spending our souls anytime soon. Because we need to collect 20,000 souls for a certain something. Which you'll see up ahead when we do encounter a friend. To purchase a certain armor set. Let's go ahead and head up here. I just love the way the knight armor looks. It's so cool. So we can go ahead and head down here to Evangelicus down here, right? 
Yeah. I'm trying to trick her into casting a miracle, but it looks like that's not gonna work. Oh, there we go. Miracle, whatever. They have such a high chance to drop their gear. Deep gem. No real reason to go down here then. I haven't found a real use for the deep upgrade, but up ahead here, be careful. Once you do that, there will be a slime waiting to try to ambush you. I just kill these guys that try to jump at me out of this. What's the word for it? I don't like them. So, here we're going to meet our giant friend. Uh, damage you take from falling in Dark Souls 3 is basically, from what I've noticed, just based on how much health you have. It's not percentage based like it was in uh, Dark Souls 1. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm not sure what the giants are weak to. I don't I don't even need to use a resin. What am I doing a resin for? But we can run over here. I, I'll wait to uh, do the resin part until after we unlock a shortcut. The soul. That's the ring we want. I miss a uh, time to roll. But if you kill these giants, you get large titanite shards, one of them. I'm pretty sure these giants don't respawn, so you kill them once and you're good. Enemy just tried to suicide onto us, but it didn't work out so well. Now this is a mimic, right? Yes, mimic. You can see the chain, it's almost hidden, but I believe this is where we get the tome from. A dark tome we do not want to give to our little priest. We'll give to another NPC later on in the game. But do not give this to the priest lady. Because as I was explaining earlier, if we read this one, yeah, it will say intended to teach divine protection to the deacons of the deep, but later dark tales were added. Meaning, if you give it to her and you buy miracles from her, that are dark, she'll kind of start being corrupted in a way, let's say. So, let's run this way and get this item over here. Minus this little guy over there, little guy over here. I'll be honest, some of these little trickster guys, they're placed really, really well -y. and we'll notice a little slug over here. Actually, wonder does the torch do any damage to him? Okay, if you want to kill slimes, use your freaking torch. <laughs> Seek guidance. I've never really used it. I believe it just shows you the way is what it was described as. I think and makes signs appear more often. I'm not sure. It's a miracle that I've actually never given a try. So. Let's head over here to the left. We're going to meet another one of those Evangelicus evil NPCs. Get a backstab off on her. She did a very long like attack, leaving herself open. Okay, so I'm really convinced that when enemies are on a little bit of higher ground, they can stagger us, which I really don't like that. I have a feeling that's a bug, and they should fix that. There's an ember. Look that archer jerk. And if we were to go down there, that guy would just try to kill himself onto us. So we're going to just ignore him for now. Let me think now. Okay, we're going to head this way. There's a little backstabber still around here. Is he walking down? Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Okay, hello, hello. Someone's happy to see me. There we go, let's cast a punishment. Uh, there's a very difficult fight up ahead, if you haven't fought these guys before. It's one of those knights that like to buff up their weapons, so be very careful. And take this one slow if you can. Make sure you kill the little guys up ahead first, the guys we killed up there. 
because this guy will if he's um excuse me sir here I was just giving you compliments and you're just sitting there walking into a wall so oh I thought we guard broke him oh thank god he doesn't know wrath of the gods I've never seen him cast uh force before I feel like the startup for the sword uh, weapon art takes a very, very long time. Oh, see, now I saw you do that. Just play defensive and you can easily take him out. I don't know what that explosion is for. I, I don't think it does damage to you. Hmm. Anyway, from the sky or from up ahead, we're going to have a very, very creepy creature come down on us. Oh, did I just get a visceral attack? I did. Okay. So, hit their head and you get a visceral attack. <laughs> Eldritch Sapphire. This is a really good item. If you get backstabs, if you get repost, uh, visceral attacks, like I just did right there, you recover some FP. So after some amount of time, you can just straight up cast another heal or stuff like that, or get some more spell cast off. We're gonna be invaded here shortly. Let's not get poisoned. Let's not get poisoned. But I got poisoned. Yeah, there's Longfinger Kirk. I wonder, can we actually get Kirk poisoned too? Now, unlike the previous games. Which I know I've had a, quite a bit of fun time laughing at Kirk and making fun of him. He's not so much a pushover in this game as he was before. He'll bleed you pretty quickly, but I should probably put my bleed ring back on, but... Mm, I'm sure we'll be fine. Come on, buddy, come to me. Yeah, I, I go to just hit him with the uh, with the sword art, but it just like boom, boom. I'm left looking. Oh, that now it hit up. That was weird. Lock act like I'm gonna move in on him, so he'll try to hit us. When he rolls, he does a slight amount of damage too. <laughs> so if you have like a one damp one health uh, challenge run, don't get near this guy. There we go. So Kirk down. We'll get some more Essence Blast for killing him. Right? There we go. We got two. You think now. That's not a shortcut. Which way was the shortcut? Maybe it was this way to the shortcut. We want to unlock it. There's going to be a knight over here. Yeah, there's a knight over there with two little guys following him from behind. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is where the shortcut is. Yes. Okay, I don't remember what rings down there. All I can remember is that it's actually a useful item down there. But this is a shortcut that we will not be... Well, this area up here, we will not be going up here until we encounter a certain little friendly person. I think I'll sit down at the bonfire, just because we want to get rid of the poison and not chance having to die, and get our essence blast filled up. Let's go ahead and head over here, and we're going to go all the way back to where we just were at, except this time we're going to go kill some giants. So let's go kill the giants. What? I just heard something. Yeah, I'm gonna let this guy follow me. Come on. Let's 
So much blood comes from these guys, man. I saw someone doing like a uh, unarmed run. Or I think it was like a miracle only run and they were punching them repeatedly. <laughs> and uh, the four stinking enemies just had so much blood on the ground. So giants, they're big. They have a decent health pool. And while they're getting up, you do decrease damage to them. So while if we go after this guy and we start smacking him, we'll only do a small amount of health to him, damage to his health. But secret of beating him, just stick behind this foot and swing away. Let your stamina come back up. Again, stick behind his foot. And giant down. That's giant number one. This is the easy one. Giant number two is a little hard, or not hard, but annoying because he has enemies near him. So there's a large titanite shark. We can now make our weapon plus four. Thanks to the fact that we beat that really challenging enemy. No, but just don't try to fight the giant upstairs. You can also just jump down from over there and kill him. But I didn't do the first time because I wanted to show around this little area. For your soul. There is a homeward bone and some kind of trident spear-like weapon here. So I'm going to pick up the homeward bone because I will end up using those. Saint. Okay, that's like the trident I was talking about. The Saint Bell of Dart, whatever the heck the name of it was. Now we're going to head back into here. And how are we doing on time? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here and I'll continue with the next one immediately. In the next episode, we are definitely going to say hello to a good old friend. And then we're going to take on the Deacons of the Deep. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you continue to watch. And until next time, have a good one.